everyone, welcome back to the workshop. Artist Empire here, and in today's fun scroll saw project video, I have another amazing and unique design by Steve Good. And once everything is cut out and assembled, we're going to have a nice little miniature diorama of a ship. So, really, really cool. I've already got all the pattern printed out and attached to its material with clear packing tape, and everything but the base, which needs to be a little bit more bulky, is going to be one quarter inch material. The base here, Steve suggests one half inch. I've got a piece of three quarter inch piece here with the pattern attached to it with clear packing tape and then here is the two support structures for the base and we're going to probably paint that a nice dark color to complement the boat but here is the design and there's going to be some stack cutting in this project the middle layer of the boat that actually has the sails and the rigging and all is actually the middle layer and it is just one single piece of one quarter inch material and then we have the two sides and once everything is glued together it's going to really look like a sailboat with a multi-part project like this I do have a picture that Steve had in the pattern pack saved to my phone so when it comes time to assembly I'm not doing no kind of guesswork and keep in mind because I am using revolution ply from Lowe's home improvement this quarter inch material does not measure quite one quarter inch in true thickness so I have redrawn the cut line there for the tabs for the supports on the base but really really cool you guys know I love the beach the water anytime I'm near a lake river stream or something like that especially the ocean I am happy and I feel more at peace with everything but really really cool since everything is prepared let's head over to the drill press draw all the pilot holes required so we can come back to the scroll saw and start scrolling And over here on the drill press, we're going to begin by drilling all of the pilot holes for internal cutting. And there is several small details in the pattern that makes this boat look as realistic as possible. But we will take our time over on the scroll saw and get everything cut out. I am beginning by cutting out the single piece of quarter inch material that makes up the middle of the boat and the sails and the rigging and everything. I am using number five ultra reverse tooth blades and they will fly through the quarter inch material here as well as the stack cutted pieces as well as the thicker base. Anyone who knows me knows that I love maritime history and lore, especially pirate history and everything, but I have also always been totally fascinated by the story of the RMS Titanic and her tragic story as well as her sister ships the Olympic and Britannic. Of course to me this will be a little pirate ship diorama. I am taking my time and letting the blade do the work. And here we are moving on to cutting out the brackets that will hold the ship in the base and these are stack cut two pieces of one quarter inch material as well as the rest of the parts of the boat and I'm being as loyal as I can to the cut line and cutting out the base here which is three quarter inch material and as you see I'm using the same blade for all of the cutting and double checking with a scrap piece of quarter inch material to make sure my slots here are cut perfectly if you guys would like to try this pattern, it is available as a free pattern download over at Steve Good's scrollsawworkshop.blogspot.com website over in his free pattern catalog. And this is one of his newer uploads from this year. Cutting out all of the little pieces for the windows and everything can be a little bit tedious, but they make the project amazingly detailed once we get to assembly and finishing. If you guys like what you're seeing, I would highly encourage you to subscribe to my YouTube channel and also follow me over on Instagram at Artisan Pirate. I'd really appreciate the support. We are now releasing all of the pieces from the waste wood. And once again, for this project to look as amazing as it can, you need to be as loyal as you can to the cut line. And that is what I'm trying to do. Now cutting out the base. Again, you guys see that I'm still using that same number five ultra reverse tooth blade. And it cuts amazingly well 
in material in some instances up to one inch thick. But now we will cut out the final piece here which we are now back to cutting out the single layer of one quarter inch material. And this piece here is very fragile because there is some small cuts and little pieces of wood to represent the rigging and the lines and all that are on the ship. But once all the scroll work is done, we will remove all of the pieces from the waste wood and take it over to sanding with 100 grit sandpaper in the palm sander. And I will sand the front and back of everything. And I will sand the base and give the top of the base a slight bevel, rounded over appearance. But then it will be time to glue up with CA glue and activator. And I start with the base and set it aside. And the main part of this ship needed a little more touch up sanding so that's what I'm doing now and with a multi-part project like this I do have a picture of the finished project saved on my phone that's included in Steve's pattern packs but I continue to glue everything up and line it up as best I can and I will let the one side dry with spring clamps for around five minutes and flip it over and glue up the other side which is a mirror of the first side we glued up and once again let that dry for five minutes and we can finally see what the finished project will look like but now on to staining and painting and I opted to paint the base black and stain the boat with Minwax wood stain, making sure to saturate all areas of the boat. And then I will wipe off the excess with a piece of t-shirt material and hang it on a hook to dry for around an hour. And then it will be time for finishing, which is Rust-Oleum clear gloss on both pieces. And once that dried, the project was complete. And here we have the completed miniature sailboat cut out completely on the scroll saw and it came out fantastic. Thank you Steve Good for another amazing and unique pattern from your pattern catalog. This is one of his newer pattern offerings from this year if anyone was wondering. But really, really cool. Keep in mind that the stand and the boat are two separate pieces entirely and you do have the option of gluing on the boat to the stand but I like where you can take it off and pick up the boat and look at it like a miniature model diorama and the stand is what it is. I painted it black and everything came out good. You see it's got a slotted cradle there to really lock the boat in once it's setting in there to hold the layers of the plywood and I painted it black because this is not the standout piece here of course it's gonna be the sailboat here and it finished up nicely I have all my grain going in one uniform directions which also makes this project pop and the grains not just going every which way but really really cool it took me around 25 minutes to cut this project out and I will say that there is some fragile details on this project so just be careful over on your scroll saw and don't be aggressive when cutting. You can see there that the rigging that represents the ropes and everything and the sails and everything is very fragile and could break easily. I was just very careful sanding it and everything. And then all the little windows in the cabin and then on the railing here to support the crew when they're on deck. That is also kind of tedious to cut out. But everything came out great and uniform. And this is one of those projects where with all these layers needing to line up to create the 3D image that you need to be as loyal as you can to the cut line. And as always, I took my time and let the blade do the work. And what I personally tried to do was make the blade make the cut line of the pattern disappear as I was scrolling and as you see everything just lined up nice and uniform here you can see the stern of the ship you can see the bow of the ship with the prow sticking out and everything so for me this is going to be a little miniature pirate sloop with maybe a small pirate crew going in and out all of the inlets but really really cool and of course I stain this you have the option of painting it to really make it look like a model ship or diorama and you can do the base stand out out of hardwood or anything this was just pine and more of the quarter inch material the whole ship 
is one quarter inch material and layered to create a beautiful and unique 3D image. I think this project would make a great gift for anyone who lives at the coast or maybe has a sailboat that they own that's at a lake or at the ocean. And this project just reminds me that a beach trip is drawing ever closer. So really, really cool. I had a lot of fun making it and I hope you guys like watching me make it. If you're new here, please subscribe to the channel and also follow me over on Instagram at Artisan Pirate. Links to all my social medias as well as ways to contact Contact me will always be linked down in the description box below these videos. That's about all for this one. And remember, guys, if I can make it or do it, so can you. I'm the Artisan Pirate. Take care, and I'll see you guys real soon.